you know what guys i forgot to show you what happened if i removed uh, component from the declaration array so uh, to show this example what i'm going to do is in the page 2 i'm going to use page 1 selector so basically when the page 2 is get loaded uh, i'm uh, showing the uh, page 1 uh, template basically right so let's copy the selector from the page 1 and i'm going to page 2 and here i'm pasting this page uh, one selector here so now what happen is if i click page 2 the page 2 is loaded inside this page 2 we have page 1 also so now what i'm doing is i'm going to remove uh, page 1 from the declaration array in this case you can now see the page 2 component showing a kind of an error so what is this error is app page 1 is not known as element if page 1 is angular component then verify that is a part of this module and let me show you in the ui so now compile with the problem so it's no it's not a known element so basically you need to register in the declaration if you want to use this selector somewhere it's not only for this component uh, this is for any component or any direct uh, directive you are generating custom directive you always need to define in the declarations or imports then only it will work basically otherwise it will show the error so again if i want to work it uh, make it work so what i want to do is I just want to edit in the declaration array so now you can able to see this is working without any problem i hope you understand this concept now you know if you found or if you get error similar to this you know right now how to handle it right